After a long time waiting, Man United have finally announced Harry Maguire as Man United's new centre-back. He joins on a world record transfer, 80 million, taking Rio Ferdinand's number five shirt. Maguire is a red. This is going to be my reaction video. I want to explain where I've been for the last few days, explain why I'm late today with the reaction video, have a quick catch up with you all and chat about Maguire, I suppose. Before I get into it, this video is sponsored by Unibet, who are supporting United People's TV over the transfer window. Now, there's an article I wrote on their blog about who I think our new number nine should be this year because of the whole crazy situation going on with Romelu Lukaku, a link in the description, so make sure you follow that. But from a personal perspective, where have I been for the last four or five days? I've had a few people contacting me asking what's been going on. Now, I went to Wilderness Festival for four days and they had absolutely no signal there whatsoever. But on top of that, I decided to break my finger in the process. So I was in A&E today getting that strapped up and getting that sorted. But that's why my match reaction didn't exist for the AC Milan game because I didn't get to see it. That's why my reaction to the Maguire signing has been a little bit late because I spent five hours in hospital today. But that's in the past. And let's move on. Let's talk about Harry Maguire. Now, so many people are going to say that 18 million is too much for Maguire. And it really is. But not in the context of how the market's gone and what Man United need. Because since Fergie, we've had, or even during Fergie, Phil Jones, Chris Morlin, Marcus Rojo, Daley Blind, Matteo Damian's played centre-back at some point in his life as well. We've had so many distinctly average centre-backs that United now have gone out and spent big, the biggest money, a world record price for a defender, to get, I would say, one of the best in the Premier League. That's absolutely certain. Top 10 in the world? I think that might be a bit strong at the moment, but he's clearly got the ability to do that. And he's stepped up throughout his career from Hull through to Leicester, England as well. I think Harry Maguire is really going to transform United's defence. We've got Victor Lindelof, an actual genuinely top draw partner. They'll be bullish together. And that's the sort of defender that Maguire is. And he'll bring the sort of physical presence that our defence really has lacked for some time. And if you imagine this game against Chelsea, our back five could be De Gea, Wan-Bissaka, Shaw, Lindelof and Maguire. That's a hell of an upgrade on the likes of last season when we had Ashley Young. Chris Smalling, Phil Jones. That's a big, big step in the right direction for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. One strange thing I do want to point out here is that I find it odd how United have now spent 80 million on Harry Maguire this summer when we didn't want to spend less than that on Maguire last summer. And that's just down to Woodward being spineless and not sacking Mourinho when he should have. But United now have gone out and signed three British talents so far this summer. Dan James, Aaron Wan-Bissaka and now Harry Maguire. And it's a new look United team going forward. And I'm very optimistic about it. Maguire's going to bring so many aspects to our defence that it hasn't had. The, the real presence, physical presence, is going to make such a difference. But surely it's the fact that Maguire is actually going to be our defensive leader. That's the main thing that we have to take away. That's the main reason I'm excited about it. Not only can he play out from the back with the ball, he's comfortable at his feet, that's going to make a massive difference to our tactical shape, playing the ball out of defence. But Maguire will just, like Van Dijk did at Liverpool, he makes, he'll make defenders around him better. Lindelof will be better because he's playing alongside Maguire. Wan-Bissaka will be better because he's playing alongside Maguire, and so will Shaw. De Gea will feel more confident because he's got Maguire now as a permanent outlet to find with the ball. He... It's probably one of the best signings, I think, that United have made post-Fergie. And maybe I'm saying that too soon, and maybe it won't work out with Maguire, but I think it will. I'm absolutely confident it will. Maguire is really going to take our defence way above where it was previously. And if you imagine that back five as well, De Gea aside, look at the back four against Chelsea. We might actually line up with a player that wasn't bought by Fergie. Those players like Young and Smalling and Jones, and they've just been lingering. And that's been a big issue with United. We've just had players that have lingered. But Maguire has signed, and he looks buzzing for it. He did it very respectfully as well. Didn't turn his back on Leicester, didn't throw in a transfer request, didn't throw any tantrums. Just bided his time, waited for United to pay the right price, and we paid it in the end. It was a little bit painful how long it took, but it's done now. 
United have got their man. We wanted wan -Bissaka. We went and we got him. We wanted Maguire. We went and we got him. Now, there's still plenty more to do in this window. The whole Lukaku situation stinks and he's got to leave the club. We desperately need a new central midfielder as well. And we've only got a few days left. But Maguire, signing Maguire is such a major turning point, I think, for our defence. Because our defence, since Fergie retired, has always relied on David De Gea having an absolute blinder. Last year, he had a bit of a shocker in comparison to his years before. And all of a sudden, we were leaking goals left, right and centre. Maguire is the sort of defender that... De Gea will have less shots to face because Maguire will help that defence stop them coming in. So will wan Saka as well. Our defence is going to be substantially better than it was last year. For that first game against Chelsea as well, what a big game that is. But I'm over the moon that United have gone out, stuck to their guns and spent the money. I know, you know, people do get upset with how much... Upset is probably the wrong word, but... Seems to get annoyed with how much clubs do spend on players. But the, the reality of the Premier League now is that if you do not sign big and spend big, your rivals will take a step ahead of you. And that's what Liverpool and City have done for the last few years. But this summer, United have spent massive on two defenders. And that, for me, was the biggest problem in this squad. Central midfield is still a huge problem, but defence, that lack of leadership, that's been the big problem. And Maguire will come in now and Ashley Young might be the captain when he's on the pitch. But I think Maguire's going to step straight into that captain type role without the armband. I don't think it will be too, too long, sorry, before he actually does wear the armband. I think he's going to make that much of a difference. And maybe it's because I've been watching Smalling and Jones and Bai being good and then Bai getting injured and Rojo and all these makeshift, distinctly average centre-backs that I'm going to exaggerate how good Maguire is with every performance. And that probably will happen. But you've seen how much of an impact someone like Van Dijk had at Liverpool. And that is what will be expected of Maguire at United. Now, we're nowhere near overall the quality of the squad and the team that Liverpool have. And that's why we're not challenging for titles. But this is a huge step in the right direction. Maguire is a fantastic signing. It's worth every penny. And I can't wait to see how we play against Chelsea. Having a defender who can run out with a ball, man, that's proper Rio Ferdinand. And that's why he's been given that number. That's the sort of defender he's going to hopefully be. He won't be as good as Rio. No, he definitely won't be as good as Rio. Not many defenders are or ever will be. But Maguire is a fantastic signing. 80 million well spent for United. It took a little bit longer than we all wanted to, but it happened and we got it over the line. Let me know what you're all thinking about the Maguire signing in the comments below. Going to be back to normal this week. Sorry about the lack of videos. But I'm alive. My finger's broken. Let's move on. A few days left in this transfer window, but Maguire is a red. Welcome to United, man.